This is the glacial spring water you were looking for. <sighs> I'm feeling a lot better now. Thank you very much. Now, I'll send you to your destination. We've arrived at a mountain near Liyue. But it's so dark here. Wait, listen. There's a voice. Can you hear that? <laughs> the reason the birds sing so sweetly is because they drink the spring water from up in the mountaintops. Xinyan. We're not singers in this family. None of us are. What makes you think you can be any different? Oh, so I just need to go drink some of this spring water, and then I'll be able to sing? Oh, I'll be right back, Mama. You mustn't stay out so late in the mountains by yourself, child. You scared the bejesus out of me. Here, this is the spring water you were looking for. Did she run off to this time? To find somewhere she could sing, no doubt. Ugh. She can't be persuaded, and we can't stop her from walking out the door. Did you really have to lie to her like that? How was I supposed to know she'd go running off looking for spring water? Oh, when is she gonna come to her senses? Get down from there! You can't set up a stage here! If you can't sing, you should be keeping your mouth shut, not putting on a public performance. Ugh. Don't tear down the stage! Yen Yen, my dear child. Why are you playing that crass instrument again? It's not ladylike. Oh, Shen Yen, your mother has asked me to teach you some embroidery when I can find the time. Oh, it's an elegant and enjoyable craft. Just come to Annie's house whenever you're free. Quit making that racket by the side of the road. If you have to play, play something classy. Why are they being so mean? Oh, these people. <sighs> Sometimes it's hard to get mad when you hear the same thing a hundred times. <laughs> Still, thanks, Paimon. Uh, what? Auntie Jishong, how are you doing? Oh, dear child, I've been waiting to hear from you for a long time. This weekend, I'll be free. Auntie, stop thinking about me for a hot sec. Your stove is still on and you're cooking soup, right? Oh, so you see, it's all burnt. Oh, how did this happen? Oh my, Uncle Jew, Little Jew is playing in the mud by the river again. Didn't you tell him not to do that? What? That rascal is up to his old shenanigans behind my back again, is he? Oh, well, we'll see about that. 
Oh, sorry, Uncle High. I'll move my stage someplace else. But your musical taste needs to evolve if you want to keep up with the times. Maybe you didn't know, but even the most famous opera singer in Leeway likes listening to my boorish music. What did you say? Is that true? You're not making this up, are you? <laughs> I'll have to look into this. Oh, they're all gone. See? Knowing the right words to say and when to smile can solve almost any problem. <laughs> if that's the case, then what's your rock and roll spirit for? My rock and roll spirit isn't something I just use to win an argument. That'd be a real waste. Rock and roll is a revolution. Transforming your identity and destiny, saying goodbye to concessions and cowardice, it does them all. And most importantly, it lets you do it with art rather than words. My rock and roll has an unbreakable spirit, like a flame in a rainstorm that refuses to go out, or the magma that never stops boiling under the surface of the land. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go that way. There's a side path right there. What a great mindset you have. If anyone ever called me anything less than a genius, I'd be furious. Really? I'm not as tempted to give it a shot. <laughs> Mona is glaring at me. <laughs> Paimon, there's a difference between embracing the spirit of rock and roll and playing with fire. To tell you the truth, I'm also starting to develop an interest in rock and roll. Seriously? Oh, this better not be a joke. No, I'm serious. Rock and roll's ability to cultivate such a strong will in people is an incredible thing. Another door. More delightful individuals await us on the other side, I assume. Let me handle it. Piece of cake! Miss, your hairstyle is really strange. <laughs> is that so? I think it looks really cool. Take a closer look if you don't believe me. Your hair sticks out from your head, and you wear spiky things in it. Nobody else has hair like that. You're looking at it the wrong way. If I don't look like anybody else, once you've seen me, you won't be able to forget me, even if you try. You'll still recognize me if you ever see me again in the future. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Your clothes, hair, even the way you walk and talk. It's not just for the eyes of others. It's your style. So you should go with whatever you like. Really? But if I wore a jacket with a picture of a puppy on it, people would say, hey, little Faye likes stupid little puppies. Then you should ignore them. So, you like puppies, huh? I do. What about your friends? Well, yeah. They do, too. <laughs> well, then your friends are gonna love that jacket. Okay. Uh, miss, how come you don't do your hair in a nice braid? People would love that. No, oh, I can't help myself. I just like the styles with personality. Uh, plus, I had no idea how so many people would dislike it before I started wearing my hair like this. So, why don't you change it now? Well... This hairstyle suits my music and my lifestyle. The regular ones are boring. They're so uninspired. Plus, they get in the way when I'm head bobbing away on stage. <laughs> if people don't like it, that's up to them. I ain't gonna change it. What about your friends? 
Do they not like it too? Of course they like it. They all say that they think it looks amazing. Your friends are nice to you. That's cool. Not like my friends. They left me here on my own. <laughs> oh, hey, hey now. Why are you crying? What's wrong? You can talk to me. Little Lulu and Little Mung, they're ignoring me. We were gonna meet at the docks today, but they still haven't shown up. These kids are way too young to be standing each other up like this. No. Oh, stay right here, I'll go take a look around. I'll bring them to you once I find them. O okay. Thanks, miss. I'll never say anything bad about your hair again. See? Now you're talking sense. I'll see you later. <laughs> Why don't little Mung and little Lulu want to play with me? Are you Little Mung? Little Faye is waiting for you at the docks. He's been waiting so long now that he's in tears about it. <laughs> 